Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight on News West 9 at 10. All new tonight at 10. This week, a 17-year-old in Odessa was charged with murder after selling pills laced with fentanyl to another teen who died after taking them. The lethal substance continues to take lives and threaten others, with teenagers very much involved and now in danger. Tyler Dupnik is here tonight to tell us just why are we seeing this specific age group so heavily impacted, Tyler? down to a, a number of factors that are putting our youth at risk. Now, the pressure that teenagers face in today's society, plus the presence of social media, are feeding fentanyl's deadly nature. Tonight, the fight against fentanyl continues. They have to know that this is potentially fatal to the, to the person they're selling it to. With teenagers right in the middle of it. And there's been more young people killed with this stuff in the past year than, than anybody else, I believe. Young people killed by what they think are prescription drugs. A lot of this fentanyl is uh, is in these fake pills that look like Percocet, they look like Oxy, they look like Xanax or Adderall. And so the kids might think that they're taking something that will help them concentrate for a test or that they're taking something to calm their nerves down, but really it's laced with illicit and fatal doses of fentanyl. Jennifer Weston is the data coordinator at PBR CADA, and she says that if teens can't get the drugs they want prescribed, they'll use social media like Snapchat to order these fake pills. And the drug dealer would sell it to maybe some underage kids because they'll be able to uh, sell that to their friends, to their peers. For the young sellers, there is one main incentive says Ector County Sheriff Mike Griffiths. You know, money's the name of the game. It's the root of all evil, and I'm sure these kids are trying to make them a little money, and, and it don't matter if it kills anybody or not. And the fact of the matter is it's killing a lot of people, and and we're going to take any, take any and all efforts to try to identify these individuals selling this stuff um, and put them in jail. With teens vulnerable to fentanyl exposure, it's on parents to help save lives. We'd love to make an arrest, but we want to save a life more than more than anything. If these parents, go in, they have the right to go through the kids' room if they're living in their house. Go through there, see if, if they find anything, please call law enforcement. Let's get out there, let's get that stuff and, and uh, potentially save a life for your kid. Now, told me that 67% of fentanyl deaths for ages 12 to 19 happen, ha happen at home while a parent is home as well. The Permian Basin Regional Council on Alcohol and Drug Abuse has many program services and resources. So for parents, teenagers, and those who need help in the fight against fentanyl, go to their website at pbrcada.org.